Hello everybody, this is SoyChanger.com and we're still taking a look at the Sony Xperia S. So in our earlier video, uh, we at the end, we tried, we wanted to show you the startup sequence of the device and it failed, uh, there was a glitch. Uh, we didn't know what caused it, but we tried it again and it worked. So we're just going to show you how the device starts up and how fast it starts up. Uh, also, we missed some, some important uh, elements of the device, so we're going to cover that in this video. Okay, so um, what we're going to talk about? Alright, this this uh, transparent belt. Sony Ericsson calls it the transparent belt. So this lights up uh, when you switch on the device, uh, but this is actually not the button. So the button's at the top. The capacitive, capaci capacitive sensors are at the top, uh, where the small dots are. So if you're going to go home, you need to press at the top here. Uh, as you can see, it's transparent and that's cool. Oh, it's kind of funky, it's very zen, uh, very nice design. Uh, other than that, we forgot to mention uh, the thickness of the device. So, uh, the current crop of new uh, Android devices uh, are usually under 10 millimeters thin. Uh, you get, you know, uh, the thinness is, oh, of course, the Motorola Razr at 7 millimeters thereabouts. Uh, with the Xperia S, it's actually quite thick. Uh, it's 10.6 millimeters thick, uh, as you can see. Uh, but we don't have an issue with this. Uh, but you know. Uh, device thickness is a point of contention. Some people like uh, really thin devices, some people don't. Uh, with regards to the Xperia S, in our opinion, uh, it's comfortable to hold. It's pretty good. But if you're going to put it in pocket, yeah, you're going to feel it. But when you're using it in your hand, it's it's a nice feel to it. Okay. Uh, other than that, let's move on to the back. Uh, in terms of plastic, this is sort of like a... It's not like a rubberized plastic. It's something like a soft touch plastic but I don't know how this to describe it but it feels nice feels premium um, you know Sony Sony device Sony Ericsson uh, and now Sony uh, you know they know how to make devices okay uh, if you're curious about this logo uh, if you've been using Sony Ericsson you know that this is a Sony Ericsson logo well uh, Sony brought uh, bought all the shares from Sony Ericsson so it's now it's Sony and they're retaining the logo so for Sony mobile devices they're still going to use this uh, this uh, uh, this logo, okay, uh, and that's pretty much it. Other than that, uh, I'm gonna talk about the bottom end of the device. Uh, this big uh, hole here, this big slot here, is not uh, the speaker. This is actually for you to put in your phone strap. So if you like to customize your phone with uh, weird looking lanyards and things like that, uh, you have that option on the Xperia S. The smaller hole is actually the main microphone for, for when it's picking up uh, your voice when you're making phone calls. Uh, also, we forgot to mention in terms of the performance of, p performance of the device. So currently this is, when it's available in Malaysia, this will be the most powerful device, um, barring any other device that's, that comes out before it. But So this will be pr the most powerful device in Malaysia. It has a 1.5 uh, gigahertz uh, dual core processor and 1 gig of RAM uh, and 32 gigs of internal storage so that's pretty cool okay so moving on to the startup sequence uh, so I'm just going to show you that right now so I'm going to press the button 3, 2, 1, go right if you can just move in and show okay so the 4.3 inch screen on the Xperia S is currently the highest uh, the, the screen with the highest pixel density uh, on any device so once again it has a 382 pixel per inch density and uh, and that's very high uh, alright so as you can see uh, just check out so the, the lens is uh, currently touching the screen and Okay, all right, so we're gonna set this up, uh, all this up later. Okay, all right, so the let's just zoom in. Uh, so, right now, the, the lens is actually uh, touching the screen, and you can see how high density the screen is. So, it's again 1280, 1200. Uh, 1280 pixels by 720 pixel resolution uh, this this screen is really beautiful uh, 
probably okay we're gonna call it this is the best screen right now uh, on an Android device uh, you really need to see it uh, to see how bright this uh, how brilliant this display is um, also you get this new uh, sort of like uh, live wallpaper designed by Sony Ericsson a uh, Sony sorry and that that just shows how how just how great the screen is uh, I can't stop talking about this screen okay so this is new cool widget uh, so Sony added on onto the device uh, you can control all your whatever stuff there so we're gonna talk about all this a little later uh, when we go into the review what I want to show you now is okay let's just take, take a look at some pictures um, so what I just want to show you how yeah well again you need to see this with your naked eye but I can tell you this screen is really gorgeous it's just unbelievable <laughs> that's just crazy okay um, all right well again we'll talk about all this uh, in our review I just want to show you the fast capture um, feature that we have so I'm just gonna take a right so I'm just, we're just gonna try this so fast capture uh, what what that means is that uh, when the device is switched on but in sleep mode sleep mode is when you have the screen switched off like this so this is sleep mode for those of you who don't know for those of you who know okay fine uh, so from sleep mode from standby to uh, a picture it takes just under two seconds so under two seconds you can go from sleep uh, from taking it out from your pocket and pressing the camera button pressing and holding the camera button and you get a picture so I'm just going to show you that so once again the device is now in is now in sleep mode so we'll put it in sleep mode and in three wait three two one one two. there you go and you have a picture So, yeah, let's try that again. Okay, in sleep mode, I'm pressing the camera button 3, 2, 1. So that's a, that's a pretty cool feature. Again, we'll go into, uh, into depth uh, with all these things. Later, we'll also compare the 12.1 megapixel of the Xperia S with the 12 megapixel of the Nokia N8, and that's going to be interesting. But that's going to be in a late uh, in our post on searchingshow.com. All right, so I think I covered enough uh, about the video. Um, as usual, this is searchingshow.com. Thanks very much, guys, for watching the video. Thanks very much for liking the video, and thanks very much for subscribing to our channel. Once again, this is searchingshow.com. And that was a look at the Xperia, Sony Xperia S. I'll catch you guys later.